So this is so cool, ladies. Thank you so much for joining us. Comedy Thursday treat here uh, on Houston Live today. Lauren Ash, you are Dina on one of my favorite shows, Superstore. Look, if it were up to me, she wouldn't be working here at all. Most of you wouldn't be. What's going on? Is everything okay? Which is followed by Stephanie Beatrice on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and you play Detective Rosa Diaz. Nope. You've obviously rigged this to get the best teammate, but I'm not falling for that crap this time. So I am going to partner with Scully. And the fact that you guys follow each other, it's like a park up on the couch, and that's it. I'm stuck for the rest of the night, you know? Hey, that's great. That's, that's our intention. <laughs> We're well paired, like wine and cheese, you know? Truly. <laughs> uh, speaking of pairings and quarantine, I'm going to get to the shows in just a second, but can you guys help me out here? What has been, like, your go-to quarantine snack? What's been your favorite one? Everything. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I started ordering bags of mini Almond Joy bars. <gasps> yeah. I, I didn't know. I haven't had an Almond Joy, I don't know, years. And now it's like every day. It's, all, it's Almond Joy o'clock. <laughs> Almond Joy o'clock. <laughs> Mine is actually probably more like cocktail hour. Like mm -hmm. right around like four or five. I'm like, ah, all right. Yeah, it's funny how sometimes you can have like a mimosa for breakfast and nobody judges, and then you just kind of follow that with a little bit of something in your your coffee, make it an Irish coffee, coffee, you know, and then just work it out until work it out until four o'clock, and then nobody's judging. No nobody judging is you. judging here. No um, so I don't have anything in this coffee right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So another fun question, who has been one of you ladies' favorite people to follow on social media? There's been so many memes going around, and that's what's literally keeping all of us afloat are the quarantine memes. But is there anybody in specific that you follow that's just been posting comedy gold? Oh, great question. I mean, the cats, the cats of the world are posting comedy gold right now. I follow a lot of cat meme accounts. Didn't I send you one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I sent you that one of that cat, like, making that crazy noise, and then didn't your cat run in the, the room? Yeah. <laughs> this cat was, my cat was asleep and literally was like... <laughs> it was amazing. Another um, oh, yeah, the cats follow? are killing it. I have to say also, the, the TikTok, which is something that I still don't understand. I feel elderly. But there's so much great content being pumped out, like really funny, short content. Um, which is great because everybody's, you know, at home, everybody can make their own videos. I will also shout out that we have a Superstore fan named Dahlia who makes videos where she plays every character in a scene. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. Yeah, I'm generally a cynic, but this? Wow. She didn't know that he didn't know. And now he knows that she knows. Wait. Get it, Sandra. They are so good and they're so cute and I adore her and I, I, I just think that it's the greatest, cutest content. I love oh it. Oh my okay. gosh, that's so cute. So this yeah. is really cool. Um, we've, got, we've got season finales, the finale episodes of both shows coming up, Thursday night comedy treats. Let's catch up everybody a little bit about each of the shows uh, respectively and just kind of set a basis of what we can look for in those uh, upcoming episodes. Lauren, you start because you know what? Superstore's first. Absolutely, 8 p.m., uh, 7 Central. I, uh, what's happening? Where did we leave off? Oh my gosh, quarantine brain is real. Okay, so Amy has gotten a call. She's been offered a job interview for uh, a job at corporate, which would of course uh, take her out of state. Uh, and so we're kind of coming into cloud nine where she has said that this is happening. Dina, of course, is trying to be a good friend. She is trying to help her out. She's trying to, uh, you know, maybe keep this on the down low. And of course, Dina uh, succeeds with um, small success in helping do that. But I think that it's gonna be great. I think that fans are really gonna like what, what happens. They're gonna like how we kind of leave it. And, you know, I can't say too much about, obviously, what, what's going into next season and the creative and all of that, but I, I will promise that the, the storyline for, for Amy's character will, come together. Okay, I like it. We'll take all of those things. I can definitely. I was on set that week that they shot that episode because I was shadowing their director. And it's such a good episode. It's so funny. It's so well done. I think, I know like they had to sort of end their season early, but I 
I really strongly feel like fans are going to really love this episode because I watched it get shot and I watched the work they put into it and it's really awesome well let's hear a little bit about Brooklyn Nine-Nine come on catch yeah. up yeah. so in this in the finale episode there's a blackout in Brooklyn and the squad kind of has to separate and deal with different parts of what's happening uh what was that wow Oh, Brooklyn lost power. You know, I've always kind of liked blackouts. Listen to how quiet it is. It's so peaceful. Nope, it immediately turned into a purge. Way to go, New York. All right, let's suit up. Uh, before I go, Lauren Ash from Superstore and Stephanie Beatrice from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, what we've been doing with our friends from NBC are asking them to give us a quarantine confession. And... I've run the gauntlet. I've done interviews with pajamas on. I've had a little bit of champagne in my cup. But what would be your quarantine confession? <clears throat> uh, my quarantine confession is that yesterday, my boyfriend and I, uh, I got us a classic Nintendo. <gasps> uh, I ordered one to be delivered a few weeks ago. And yesterday, we played Nintendo for seven hours. <laughs> Seven hours. That is I've never so cute. Video games that long in my life, and it was glorious. <laughs> That's amazing. Did you beat Bowser? <laughs> oh my gosh, we were we played a couple different games. Uh, really into Dr. Mario, having a deep love affair with him. And uh, <laughs> there's a game called Bubble Bobble that we got to the final. We have not beaten the final level, but let me tell you, we're gonna get back in it. We're gonna get back bubble in bubble. it. Bubble Bobble. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. Mm. Um, Dad, what about you? My quarantine confession is that I'm finding that um, none of the hair products that I thought worked work. Like, I I was, like, under the impression that I had, like, my hair in a situation that was, like, good. But what I didn't realize was that I was going to work every day and having someone <laughs> do it for me. So my quarantine confession is that I think I've got to, like, completely redo like how I'm doing my hair. I mean, this is third day hair and it looks pretty good. Like, or just why not need to wash my hair that much? Like, is that what I'm finding out? I don't know. We'll see. I'm on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies, thank you so, so much. We are so excited to watch you, Lauren, as Dina on Superstore in the episode Thursday night. And Stephanie, we can't wait to see you as Detective Rosa Diaz in Brooklyn Nine-Nine as well. Thank you for taking the time. Please stay well and please check back in with us here at Houston Life once all of this is wrapped up. Thank you. Love you, Absolutely. Houston.